Hi, I'm Jean Ellen and welcome to the Great Southwest. Today, I'm just gonna do a quick checkup video and show you all the crazy things that have been going on in my life. Um, let's start with the snake that was in my bedroom. Yeah, I was vacuuming and I went over my bedroom rug like three times before I realized something wasn't feeling right in my vacuum. And I stopped it, turned it off, and out from the beaters fell a snake about 16 inches long. Yeah, we're not sure what kind of snake it was. It didn't rattle at me, but a uh, definite panic city. It sat on my rug for a little while and um, it didn't move. I thought he, I was hoping he was dead, but I didn't think so because he actually, he, he left my vacuum, so I knew he was alive, but um, he was stunned. And I was able to get a container on top of him and so um, then I started thinking about maybe taking pictures. So here's the uh, video I shot of the snake. I had to call in, well, first of all, I was trying to get my son to help me. And then I had to call in my daughter and her boyfriend who is very good with animals. And he helped get uh, the snake out of my house. So a shout out to uh, Bryce, Sienna, and Devlin for helping me out on this. So here we go, here's the adventure. Oh yeah, that's, 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 no, no, get, go, go, no, no, get, go, 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 Bricey, yes. you're going to go find cardboard, you're going to duct tape it over those doors, they're not going out anymore. Hello, Slim. I figured I could pin him down, I think. Aww. You guys can stay for hamburgers. He's looking around. He's seeming okay now. Don't take me. I'm gonna be free. You think over? I don't know. That's awful pokey. Yeah. Um. Just that because he would have just a um, I don't know. The front yard sucks. Yeah. The backyard seems like it'd be kind of dangerous for him. Maybe like around the side of the house. Somebody had bushes near their house. <laughs> I'm sure our neighbors don't like that. Um, I can just put him in this leaf, like near this leaf pile over here. He'll find somewhere to go. Okay. Okay. All right. Someone will open that for me. Where are we going? The backyard. The oh. back. Oh, God. Uh, I'm no good at that gate. Okay. Is our inside or outside? No, she's outside because she was being a dork. So I'll get her inside. Okay. Let it opens get... outwards, right? You want me to go around and do it, honey? I go around. Bricey, yeah. um, get the dog inside. Okay. Sienna, you want me to come around? Yeah. You're going to have to offer her food. Oh, stab Zara. <laughs> she want to come out. No, oh, she can't. Oh. Oh. Bryce is getting her. Oh. Yeah, go, oh. go around. Go around. She knows I'll get her food. She's got when that snake came out of the vacuum, I, I don't remember what happened, but the next day, look at my hand. I really have no clue. I must have smacked something or maybe I hit it on the vacuum or whatever. But, yeah, ow. I don't know what happened there, but, ooh. So there was no way I was going to be able to sleep that night in my bed, um, even though I knew the snake was gone. So I put back up my privacy pop tent that I used to use uh, to keep the cats off me while I slept and this is what they look like when you order them and, and so yeah I was able to sleep knowing that I was completely protected 
from critters. And speaking of critters, um, the backyard was just an absolute mess. I knew that a raccoon or two had come and I was shocked to see the invasion that occurred that night. I had a mama raccoon and count them five baby raccoons. I mean, it was just an, an absolute invasion, but adorable. They're so cute. That big water bowl was nothing but mud. I guess they'd love to just stand in it and then they walk around and then they go back and stand in it. Usually a raccoon mom only has three babies, but I think she uh, borrowed two from another mom who shows up and only has one baby with her. So I think somehow two of the babies jumped ship and went to be with this other mama. Or maybe they babysit, who knows. But there she is with five little babies. Here's the current diamond painting I'm working on. It came from the Diamond Art Club and it uh, it's large. You heard me whine about that before. And I started the left side on June 27th, started the middle section uh, almost exactly a month later on July 28th. And I'm halfway up that. I kind of got distracted a little bit and didn't work on it. It's so hot here in Tucson. We, it's been like averaging like 100, 510 a day and with no rain, it's just crazy hot. Um, but I'm plugging away at it now. So this is mine. And I wanna talk about the, uh, I usually keep my diamonds in packages like this or containers. And one day I was working and I, I knocked it on the floor. And so that was unpleasant. But this great organizer uh, came as a suggestion from Diamond Painting Reviews by Janae, I believe, on YouTube. And she highly recommended this Craft Mates. You open it up and it has these little holders. And so, yeah, no more spilled diamonds. So if that's an issue you have, um, you might think of getting one of those. I got mine at Michael's for like 22 bucks. So more reliable than that, especially if you have cats. So, so there's my, my current painting. I'm gonna keep working on that. Well, this has been Jean Ellen in the Great Southwest. I hope you enjoyed this video a little more than Maxine did. Uh, if you did enjoy it, give it a big thumbs up. And remember to subscribe to my channel, keeps you in the loop of future uploads. Thank you again for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.